Are you ready? Yes. Oh, let's do it again. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes! Yeah. Welcome. This is Adobe Live Day 3, and uh, we're live today with Amy Lee. Hello. Again. <laughs> She's like, hello. Again. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Editing in Premiere Rush, uh, her vlog about uh, food, fashion, San Francisco this yes. week. A little bit of everything. And uh, cool jackets. Thank you. <laughs> Adobe Live. Today's yeah. theme is leather jackets. No, it's not it's, actually. Yeah. It's rock and roll. <laughs> okay. We came matching today. <laughs> so yeah, we'll be live together for 90 minutes. This is the last day. Mm. Yes. But we learned so much with you. Also, uh, thanks uh, to you all watching. Thanks to Peter, who was in the chat, who was sharing some uh, crucial tips with us using uh, Premiere Rush. It was awesome. And um, we will do chat and win. We are still giving away uh, 100 custom stickers at some point during the show, so stay tuned. And uh, we change you today. We want you to uh, edit and share with us a video using Premiere Rush. And the theme of today is movement. Oh. So, yeah very open. We will review your videos at the end. It's really, it's for fun. It's just to, uh, you know, see what you can create with Rush and how creative you all are. So uh, check the challenge tab in the UI. You will get all the details and you can use Rush on your phone, on your iPad. It's available on iOS and on Windows and Mac. So yeah, have fun. Oh, thank you, Dagny. They, they love the jackets. That's good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we matched there. We, we didn't uh, Talk about it. What are you talking about? Yeah. I texted you last night. Yeah? Yeah, oh, well. yeah it's true. You were supposed to wear leather pants. Yeah, but they, <laughs> it doesn't show on camera. <laughs> I know. So. It's because I'm wearing leather yeah. pants today. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, so Amy, uh, make sure to follow Amy. She has uh, a great YouTube channel uh, that I really invite you to subscribe. I will subscribe by the way. Oh, thank you. There we go. And I will do, you have to do this. Oh, yes. Turn on the bell notification button. Yeah. So you can be notified. Nice icon. Yes. I heard sometimes it doesn't work though, which makes me sad. No? Mm-hmm. Because sometimes I have that on and it doesn't um, show up for some people who post. Yeah. Uh, okay. I think it's a That's YouTube weird. algorithm, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, uh, maybe they choose not to notify users. It's something they can do, but uh, I don't know why they would do that, so that's weird. I know. It's, I think it's a bug. Oh, whatever. Oh, yeah. And Amy is also on Instagram. Yes, it me. Is it my account? I'm not sure. Oh, no, I'm not oh, signing. Oh, no, I'm signing. So I can follow you too. Oh. Okay, let's check this. Ah, uh, oh, yes. Captain Gluten. It was Halloween last night. We have sandwich and then a hot dog. <laughs> and then we went to Sorel for dinner. Yeah, it's not the same food experience. No. It's not a hot dog. It is not. But they have a great focaccia if you're ever in San Francisco. Oh, focaccia bread. Focaccia, so yes, yeah. yes. I invite you to discover also. Have you watched this show on Netflix? Chef's Table. So there's Chef's Table, and there's a new one, which is um, Salt, Fat, AC. Yes, I haven't seen it, but I saw the trailer. Okay. Yes. So the first episode is about fat in food, mm -hmm. and uh, she she's from Auckland actually, and she visits. Uh, uh, like one of the best focaccia maker in Italy. Oh. And she makes focaccia. Oh. And you see the process, it's insane. Oh, wow. That's the first episode? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I you, you should watch it. it. You I should love watch food. It. It's yes. amazing. Yes. Great. Yes. So, Amy. Yes. Should we continue some editing in Premiere Rush? Yes. Don't hesitate if you have any questions in the chat. We'll be happy to answer all your questions. Yes. So, today we are still working on my vlog about what I eat in a week while I travel here in San Francisco. Um, I just imported new clips of footage and I think I think I still need to import a lot more. Um, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so sequencing, that's, that's the main thing for this. Um, so is it the clip where we have an intro already? Maybe we can show them. Uh, oh, the one that we... The intro. Yes, yes, yes. About, uh, so well, we did the neon. Yeah, do you have the volume up? Um, yeah. Yes. Good. Oh, yeah, with the neon effect. Yes. So you can watch the replay if you want to see how she created this. It's a little laggy. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, it's still syncing. Hold on. Let's just... Syncing. Memory. Oh, 
Bing. You see? Yes. Oh, this is too loud, so <laughs> I'm gonna reduce this. All right. What is the blue message you get? You get zero exports. For okay. Mm. Upgrade for unlimited sharing. Yeah, Don't that. worry for that. Yes. So if you, so there is a startup plan that lets you export three projects, and if you're a member of Creative Cloud, then you can export unlimited projects. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I need to get my editing hands out. Okay, I think today I'm going to focus on title cards um, because Adobe Rush has um, some. There's Majorine, she wants to say hi to you. Oh, hello. Hello, Madeline. Majorine. Majorine. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hi, Majorine. Hello, hello. Hello, Miriam. Can you keyframe audio levels in Rush? Um, no, you cannot keyframe. But you have so many tools to adjust the volume, mm -hmm. uh, fade in, fade out. And also, there is the auto deck that you were showing uh, yesterday. Yes, right here. Just checked in. We're here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, Majorine, she's watching us from Lebanon. Oh, nice. Okay, I will launch Rush to see if I can find some. Just checked in. Okay. All righty. <laughs> So, I got here Tuesday, or no, I got here Monday. Um, okay. We're here. Just. Just. <laughs> um, you want to add something? I'm going to focus on. So I spent a week here with Adobe, and then I'm just going to focus on um, title carding each day of the week, um, just so that people know, and transitions. Okay. So, so people will know what day I ate what day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Groundbreaking content. <laughs> OK. Um, Dave Goodman is saying when Rush updates with time speed control, I'd be so happy. Yeah, this is coming, Dave. We talked about user voice, you know, which is uh, this website. We put the link in the chat where you can directly engage with the product team and vote for features. And this is the number one uh, feature that has the like yes. the highest number of votes. So yeah, it's definitely coming. Yes. Uh, Danny is asking you: Do you use do you use specific resolution specs when shooting videos for websites and video? Ah, because it's true that you now with cameras, mm -hmm. you know, some of them you can shoot like 4K. 4K and stuff. Right. Um, for me personally, I just try to do um, 1080p at least for mm -hmm. YouTube videos. Um, and then I have a certain resolution set on my vlogging camera so that it will, um, it's like extremely um, long in a sense. I, I don't mm -hmm. know what, the dimensions are longer than they would be normally because um, when I freeze frame it, I need the dimensions of a thumbnail, which is 1080 times 720. Um, so that's pretty much it, though. So 1080p, and then those are the dimensions I usually work in because that's what YouTube, um, the thumbnail is for. But for websites and stuff like that, since I don't really, I'm not very uh, present on like my own domain, it, I don't really think about that. My platform is YouTube, so yeah, yeah, that's Makes pretty sense. much it. And I don't even know if my, I don't think my, I don't think my Canon 70D shoots in 4K. Uh, so. Which one? Canon 780. I think you need. I need to upgrade if I want to shoot oh, 4K. Oh, Canon. Yeah, I would be surprised. Yeah, because um, it's not a full frame, so I don't even. Yeah. Yeah. Like even certain lenses, I have to. Um, a lot of lenses come up cropped. The fo the picture comes up cropped because it's not a full frame camera. No, for 4K, yeah, you yeah. need a 1D, so it's, yeah. it's not the same price. Yeah. So. Mm. I do not shoot in 4K, but yeah. So yeah. We, we can talk about this. Actually, it's a good topic. Like, why would you shoot in 4K? Um, I don't know. Most of my friends, um, they shoot their lookbooks in 4K, but I don't think that's necessary. Uh, yeah. I mean, the the advantage I would say is that you can like slow mo. Uh, so yeah. slow mo, it won't really help. Like, mm -hmm. actually, actually, it can be worse. Oh. Because um, when you increase the screen, uh, like the, the the resolution, like mm -hmm. 4K, for instance, then the camera will won't be able to to shoot at 
usually more than 25 frames per second. You know, oh. like you would be limited in number of frames per second because right. it needs to write write all these big pictures on the memory card. Mm -hmm. uh, and then if you downgrade to um, Full HD or uh, 1080p, then maybe you will get 60 frames per second and you can do a very smooth uh, slow motion. Mm. Uh, but maybe what they feel is that, so the picture should look better, of course, because you have more information. And what's cool is that you can zoom in right. and you don't lose quality. Mm. Uh, but when you use a zoom, like a wide angle, like do you really want to zoom in? Uh, and at the end on YouTube, uh, I'm sure they, they don't publish in 4K. Like I would be very surprised. I actually don't know because I only yeah. watch all my videos on 1080. Yeah, and as 99% yeah. of people. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. So when you publish to YouTube anyway, you, 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 you fall back at 1080p and uh, YouTube will compress it anyway. So. Um, you, you will lose a little bit of crisp that you mm. can get um, with 4K. Um, so what is typically shot in 4K? 4K, uh, like so... Like movies? Yeah, so uh. it's for the so TV now. Mm -hmm. You know, like uh, uh, more and more TVs, they support 4K. Although <laughs> when you have cable and stuff, like having like real 4K, mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, kind of hard because it's a lot of information. Like you need a high-speed internet. So, uh, and you need a very good video card to render the 4K. Oh. So it's not that, that easy, like 4K is not easy. Uh, so movies, yeah, like actually movie theater. Yes. Um, even before digital, like with the film, the resolution was 4K. Oh. So 4K is the first time you can emulate the number of pixels that, that you have in a movie theater. Oh, uh, interesting. And you have uh, directors such as David Fisher, they shoot in 6K, but this is really oh. to, to be able to zoom in and pan in the picture. Oh, I see, I see. So with one camera, you can have like multiple shots. But, right, interesting. Uh, and the big thing you need to keep in mind is that uh, with 4K videos, you take uh, like four times um, more space on your disk. Oh, yes, yes. Also, mm -hmm. uh, and when it comes to editing, uh, when you have a lot of footage, just a lot of space to, to handle or at the end exporting a 1080p video. So. Yeah. And I think um, the iPhone now shoots in 4K, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never use that option, though. <laughs> um, it's it, the same. Like, yeah. uh, you have only your iPhone to store these videos. So it's, yeah. Uh, Interesting. 4K. Mm -hmm. I had no idea there was 6K, but it makes sense. Yeah, but 6K is really for a yeah, for movie industry. Movie, yeah, mm -hmm. it makes sense. But one day, the iPhone will shoot in 6K. I mean, wow. Like, I'm sure. Great. With a tiny lens. <laughs> I know. I shoot a lot of my videos on my iPhone, actually, so. It's very good. Yeah. It's really, really good. Yeah. Yeah. And 36K, was... Paco? Wow. <laughs> 36K. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do center. Maybe the army. Maybe the army, they have 36K. It's possible. I see no file option to replace a clip with different one. Oh, like a right click? Yeah, there is no right oh, click. Oh, interesting. Okay. Mm. So again, if you're just joining today, so you're editing a title. Yes. Uh, which is a motion graphic template. Yes. Available by default in Rush, but you can get more from motion designers or on Adobe Stock. Yes. Character spacing. Okay. And um, what I like about these title cards on Adobe Rush is that they come with the motion like the movement yeah um because um a lot of times i have to like manually do that oh uh, do the keyframes yeah, yeah which is annoying <laughs> yeah. but this one already automatically automatically yeah slides just, in. you have your template yes and then this one was supposed to be at the bottom so i just huh? click the transform and put it centered so easy to customize <laughs> yes oh so yeah looks good. Uh, is there a stroke i don't want a stroke okay. do you see a stroke somewhere i don't know See if I Maybe. Can. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's no outline. Okay. No, no. I should be fine, bud. Um, 
feel like my computer is a little bit slower today. I think maybe more footage. So I'm just gonna duplicate this and then place it on each day. Um, yeah, we discovered the duplicate feature yesterday. Yes, <laughs> we did. And then, actually, let's change the color. So Danny's asking, I see that Premiere Rush is only for laptop and desktop use. So it's also available uh, on mobile. Mm -hmm. uh, today, just on iOS, so iPhones and iPads. Yeah, you can download it today if you have a, an iOS device. And the team is working on Android to announce that it will be ready in 2019. Not sure when. But usually we, we like to start, like especially because it's a brand new product, like it has been released uh, two or three weeks ago. We like to start with iOS to make sure that the experience is good for users, you know, like uh, really optimize everything. And then we start porting the code because on Android it's much harder because you have so many devices, uh, so many types of different screens, video cards. iOS is more consistent. And it's a big market too. Okay. Hi, Anel. Thanks for watching. Hello. Okay. Um, I know on Adobe Stock there were more transitions. Uh, transitions? I'm not sure. No, I would be surprised. I don't think so. You can maybe uh, use motion graphics templates as transitions. I will take oh, a look, okay? Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay. What type of transition are you looking for? Um, something like a wash? Or I like guess, a, like a, maybe a wipe or something. I uh, know. A wipe is, no. has to be using a mask, so it's not something. Okay. But maybe there are some creative transitions. Let me Let check. Me. And then, okay. Oh, and then something I learned how to do yesterday okay. with the. Um, Oh, yeah, you met with the product team? The, yeah, the Rush team ah. is um, I wanted there to be a solid custom background. Um, and sh somebody notified me that there is a, yes, so there is um, oh, yeah, I remember. basic, we, we this. yeah, basic title um, with background. And then uh, you remove the text. Yeah, you remove the text. <laughs> and then I usually use this to do, hold on. Uh, what? No, wait, this is... The text. I don't want this the is text. text yeah, I don't want the type. Is it shape? Yes. Okay. So, um, let's change. Pink is my favorite color. <laughs> so everything in my videos is pink, but light pink. Um, okay. So typically, um, I like to use the custom solid background um, when I want to, um, if I want to crop the video. So you can go here and then when you click advanced, there will be, so I think maybe let's try it for this one. Um, let's crop. Uh, uh. This is <laughs> I think the worst image. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. Let's. Okay. Yeah. But well, anyways, I'll make a square. <laughs> okay. Like. Uh, so this is just more like a design thing um, yeah. that I I typically like to do. So if someone's in my footage, so like near my face, if like a stranger or a face was in there that I wouldn't want to show, um, I typically like square the um, image itself and then I layer it behind this. So I think this is what I did yesterday. The, the team, can I bring it up? Let's see. Hold on. So typically, yeah, so you can already see mm. how, so I don't want to do the bottom. Let's do like 15.7. 
and then I guess we, and then I would transform it. So for me, um, I don't like the blurring. You know, in um, movies and in TV shows, they usually typically blur out faces. But for me, I just like to um, try and make it a little bit more artsy and then um, crop out wherever the people are. Okay. And then I just layer it. And then it kind of looks like an Instagram effect, but a little bit more like quirky. Mm -hmm. um, so this is just something that I um, found out how to do with like a title card. You just don't use the f you just don't use the text. Um, but yeah, so this is kind of like a little like a little yeah, Instagram effect, yeah. yeah. So, and then you can add text again. I think you can add text, so I'm gonna try that right now. Um, but yeah, it's just fun to like play with it. Yeah, I think you can layer again. So, let's see. Oh no, that was a, let's do basic title. Okay, hmm. Why did this lose its color? Styles. <laughs> Hungry. Um, uh, do you know how? So when I inserted another title to mm -hmm. lay it over, okay, it um lost its color. It didn't uh, override. Does it? Oh, I think, um, I think, so I think right now when you add another title to the basic title, it overrides it. Because I think that's what happened yes. in the meeting. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, um, okay, let's see. Then we have to undo, 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 undo. Okay, so, yes. All right, so then I guess you wouldn't be able to write a title card here, mm -hmm. but if you wanted to do this little square effect, and obviously you can do this with any shape as long as um, yeah just a yeah, single you just, shape yeah. yeah you just go let me see crop yeah so you can do this oh and I guess it would show here um, yeah so you could kind of do your own like DIY uh, split screen um, by maybe adding another layer and then you could crop that one mm -hmm. um, this is me being pantsless <laughs> Like, and then, so I'm just messing around here, but you could easily transform this. And for me, like, um, just because the- Then he's asking if you can copy paste the title with the style. So yeah, you can uh, duplicate the title actually. Yeah. If you select anything and you do duplicate it, we copy paste, uh, copy paste the style and you just change the text. Yes. Oh, I see where you're going. So yeah, you could do like, Typically, I feel like these are like plugins, but you could custom make your own like split screen thing because you could do as many as you want um, and then transform it. And then this is just like a really fun design effect, like t t having two different types of footage. Um, just, I don't know, makes it more interesting. Why would you, but this is a bad example because it's like my feet and then the bed. <laughs> but yes. <laughs> so if you just wanted to like custom your, custom your, the way it looks, that's, I guess, a tip. Um, uh, nice. Okay. Mm. Okay. Actually, we do. They will be the first chat and win in four minutes. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned. We are giving away today 100 custom free st uh, yeah, stickers, thanks to Sticker Mule. Yes, custom. You can upload your custom design, right? Yes. Nice. Be uh, an Illustrator file or a picture. Yes.
Oh yes, and Eric, like yeah. If you create a track, actually, so that's the thing with Rush that was surprising for me the first time, is that moving a clip around like up will create a new video track. Oh. When in other tools, you know, you need to to say add a video track or add an audio track. Mm. Here, you should just automatically create a new one. Oh. Tuesday. Mm. What do you want to do now? You want to keep the Tuesday up, or what's the deal? Mm. I know. I'm just trying to. You're just make playing it, with it. Yeah. I'm just trying to make it a little bit more dynamic so that it's not so. Okay. Like visually. <laughs> Maybe I should just. Maybe the title should be on top. Uh, so you keep the Tuesday up. Okay, so should I do this and then. I don't think it works. Does it work like that? Yeah. Oh, is it slightly yeah. transparent? Then? Yeah. So, so something that I realized is you can't um, put titles over this custom background because it'll overwrite it. So essentially, it can only be like that. Yeah. So what we could do? Mm -hmm. uh, so which typeface are you using here? Uh, mermaid. Okay. <laughs> and uh, so, so yesterday you added just a basic title. Yes. So that's this one, I guess. Yeah. See, and then when I put it over it, it's gonna over. <gasps> Wait. 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 Hmm. Wait. Okay. So now, if I edit this one, uh, Tuesday, yes. So you said mermaid bold. Yes. Two hundred. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I will change the just the, the text we got. Because I just did this, but then it like. It got rid of the other title card. Yeah. Is it maybe because the other one has motion? If it has a motion title card, will it override I the don't other know. title card? No. Um, this or maybe you need to really create a new layer and it was uh, replacing it. Mm. No? I don't know. We can try after. Okay. We can give it another try. Tuesday, 200. Okay. Was it bold? I don't remember. Um, no. I don't think so. You're in charge of the site. <laughs> oh, no choice. So there is only Mermaid Bold. Oh, so yeah, that's yeah. the default one. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you wanted to try to... Oh, and, oh, yeah, so we can disconnect it. Okay, so that's good. So you can try something like boom, and then it comes here. Yeah. Nice. And then, so, because when I used one of these with the motion, mm -hmm. it didn't work. So let's see. Gonna... Massimiliano, thanks for watching. Saying that uh, his daughter needs a nap for the school project tomorrow. There you go. Nice. Yeah. See, when I put the motion one, it gets rid of the custom uh, background title thing. Do you see? I don't oh. know why. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. it overrides it. The okay, motion. What's, what's happening? What's happening? So the basic title works, but then in motion then. doesn't. Okay, so where is the motion one? So this one is the the top one is, and then that overrid overrode my pink. Okay, background. so let's let's do it again. Okay, so now okay, it's not good. Okay, now we have the pink. Yes. And you wanted to add something animated, and it broke everything. This one. Yes. Okay, so that's the one you wanted to add. Uh, this one, social caption. Social caption. Yes. See. Ooh. Okay, it was selected. So okay, let me go back here. Let's move somewhere else and add social caption. And now you want to add it on top? Ah, uh, yes. That's what I did. And then it got rid of the pink. <gasps> what? Yeah, so that's the so thing. So nothing has to be selected. Because uh, if you select something, you say, oh, OK, you want to replace gonna it. It's going to replace it? OK. Yeah. And so I would just move the playhead. You know, you drag and drop it. And, and then, you create a new video layer. Oh, OK. Then it's safe, like when you create a new video. Let's make sure it works. Because, yeah. Yeah. It okay. Totally now works. it's kind of great. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay. So that's exactly what I wanted. Oh, fireworks. Nice. Okay. Woo. So we are giving away today 100 custom free stickers thanks to our partner Sticker Mule. Uh, how to participate? Oh, and Kevin is in the chat. Hi, Kevin. Kevin is also one of our video experts. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say not my brother. <laughs> No, no, it's another one. It's another brother. I know. Hello, and Kevin. Another Kevin. Now, Kevin, he, yeah. If you have any questions also about motion graphics templates, he's the man. So, um, chat and win. 
we want you to uh, sign in on behance.net slash live in the, uh, in the chat and just uh, let us know where you're from, okay? And we, a script will randomly pick someone. Maybe Samantha, you will win the stickers. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, so we will play a short video to give you time to type uh, where you're from in the chat. So yes, Tyron. Okay, we need to see steal from Missouri. Okay, good to know. Frances from Maryland. Emily. Okay, people from Oslo, from France, Kentucky. Michigan. Michigan, ah. Iowa. Charlotte. Iowa. What? Okay, Tennessee. Honolulu. Whoa, James. So lucky. Pew pew pew. pew, pew. Oh, Kevin, new, okay, new Hooper. It's, yeah, it's a new <laughs> building, like two blocks from here. Oh, I moved nice. to Hooper to uh, Kevin, and we are building a new studio for us for Adobe Live oh. in the new office. Yeah, it should be ready now. Nice. If Ken is watching, it should be ready uh, tomorrow. But, no, it should be ready in two or three weeks. Very cool. And we have a winner. Wow, look at it's a cool nickname. Nice. It's LK, like Lee Cooper. That's, oh. It's not Lee Cooper. Oh, okay. That would be cheating. <laughs> LK, congratulations. We will send you a private message on Behance and uh, you will get a code so you can redeem 100 free custom stickers on Sticker Mule. Woohoo, congratulations. If you didn't win, we have something amazing for you. You can go to this URL, stickermule.com slash Adobe Live. And uh, just for Adobe Live fans, you will get 10 free custom stickers. So you can upload a design get 10 stickers from Sticker Mule, check the quality, if it looks good or not, and then you can order more, of course, if you want to order more stickers, but Sticker Mule is really amazing. Okay, great. Uh, we're still challenging you. Okay, the theme of the day is movement, so make sure to check the change tab. We want you to use Rush, edit, and share with us a video. The theme of the day is movement. Yes. We'll review the videos in about uh, 45 minutes, so. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of okay, this. Okay, so we are adding some layers now. Yes, I'm gonna get rid of this. I think ah. someone asked me what my favorite font was right before we did the sticker mule. Okay, challenge. yeah, what is your favorite typeface? Um, I my one of my favorites, like because it's a classic, is just Helvetica because you can do it comes in different. Um, you don't like it? Oh, it's not that. <laughs> it's impossible not to like Helvetica. But yeah, it's. A, I was hoping something. Uh, it's oh, a bit something more, more original. Oh, I see. Well, that is just a, a it's a staple. I feel like um, if you don't know what to do, then you can play around with that as many times. Yes. Because there is like Helvetica New, the Ultralight. Um, but I probably use. Um, right now, I'm using Mermaid, which is, uh, I think we talked about it yesterday. We, I go on defont.com, which is not professional f um, fonts. Um, and yeah, so right now I'm using Mermaid, but um, I usually like to use just like classic fonts. So I think for all, every season of my YouTube channel, I have like a certain font that I use. Um, last season, it was like a Arial Black, but then we stretched it um, because I wanted it to mimic like 1980s, 1990s MTV, because they had like a the MTV logo is like a really fat font. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So like very blocky. That's what I wanted yes. to do. Um, but then right now I'm trying to go for more like a, a vintage like Reformation. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that brand, um, but it's like a sustainable vintage brand. Um, so that's what we're trying to go for this season um, because it's like autumn, winter, um, and then who knows what it'll be next season. Uh, still looking for fonts there, but yeah. And then anything for like captions, I just basically use. Um, Avenir, which is also very basic. Yeah, yeah because you can. I, I think Avenir, it's already, I would say, an upgrade huh? from yeah. Helvetica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think Helvetica is like what um, you can use for um, essays. It's like I think it has it can wear multiple hats as far as like function. Like you can write on a sign and on your YouTube channel or whatever. You know what I mean? Um, it's just very it basic. It works all the time. Yeah, that's what. I'm, yeah. I agree. Yeah, it's like a modern day. And also, you <laughs> your dream is to. Is to live in New York, which is the the city of Helvetica. I mean, it has been created in Switzerland, but uh, oh. all the signs in the metro that you see, like the density of New York, right. is Helvetica. Oh, uh, nice. 
American apparel, like all these brands. Like you, oh, yes, you're yes, surrounded yes. by Helvetica. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you check Adobe Fonts, which is the new name for Typekit, actually, uh, if you want to find uh, alternatives to Helvetica, you can directly filter and say, so Helvetica is one of the fa most famous uh, sans serif. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's pick a list. There is one that is a uh, very famous alternative uh, available on Adobe Fonts, which is uh, Proxima Nova. Oh, yes. So Proxima Nova is uh, maybe, this before. maybe the most successful typeface, I would say, on Adobe Fonts. Yes. So yeah, it's a good uh, alternative. Sans serif, yes. Um, PT Sam Pro also is a good one. Uh, what else do we have? Do you guys have Railway? I think I had to purchase that as a premium font. Railway? Um, R A L E. Oh no, R A L E W A. Yeah, -E. Rail in a different way. Like this? Yeah. Railway. Yes. Oh yeah, you there. do. Yeah. So I think a couple years ago I purchased this one. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. Like, yeah. I like the W. Mm -hmm. Very stylish. Yeah. So yeah, you can. So as a member of Creative Cloud, you can go here, um, and now there is no more limit when it comes to activated fonts. Nice. So you just check this, activate all fonts, and after a few seconds, they will be all available in all my apps, including oh, Rush. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, let's see this. Railway. Oh, looks good. Yeah, I, I purchased it a long time ago. Okay. <laughs> um, do you have a favorite font? These days? Um, mm -hmm. Which one I liked? Uh, okay, let me see what I synced recently. Just need to do some research. I have fonts that I don't like, but <laughs> I can quote them. There is one that I like recently that has been added uh, as part of uh, the family. Yeah, I like this one these days. It's called Parisine. Oh, nice. And it has some, uh, some funny twist, you know. So I like how bold it can be, but also very playful. Mm -hmm. I like the X, X. here. Uh, the Y, the Z, it just had like very fun details that you don't see all the time. And you can go like very, very bold, so that's yes. what I like. And there is another one by the same designer, which is I think Ambrose. Yeah, which is uh, like Ooh. more a uh, uh, D-Done, mm -hmm. you know, that uh, is used a lot in, uh, in uh, the luxury business in fashion. Yes. But also with crazy details, like look at the G, like it uh, has a, a lot of identity. Maybe I can increase the size of the text. Oh yeah. And I can show you. And the K. The G. Yeah. K. Yeah. Yeah. You see like the crazy K, details. Yeah. So you can go classic. Or go Ooh. crazy with the typeface. I really yeah. like it. And there is another one that is really good for headlines, also oh. for fashion. Oh. Which is Retiro. And this one also, like if you want to do. Uh, Fashion, mm. and food. Nice. He's also like. Yeah, this looks familiar. Oh, it looks a little bit similar to Mermaid, my default yes, one. Yes. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of options. Yeah. Yes. I could spend hours on that. On the fonts. <laughs> yeah, browsing. Nice. Fonts. All right. Um, so I'm gonna ask the audience: Do we like motion, or do we just like the basic title if it stays oh, static? When it just appears. Okay. Yeah. Motion so or just have it be static, static. or because I kind of think the motion's a little too much. I kind of mm. like it static. I have an opinion. So okay. We will see what they oh, what so they think. Kevin asked, "How did you create the solid background?" So when you go to title, ah, Kevin. Cods. I thought you were an expert. Kevin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're going to. Where is it? <laughs> Basic title on background. And then you yeah. just don't use the text. And then we put a space. Yes. <laughs> or no text. Yeah. And it works. And you can customize the picture because yes. the motion designer lets you do that. So yes. Awesome. So, what are your thoughts? Should we do motion with the Tuesday? Yeah, motion or static? Or static, yes. One. Oh, let's play it with the audio because it's very important. Too. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, this one is where I'm, it's going to be audio dugger. Just checked in. We're here. 
<laughs> so. Yes, we are leveraging more guards, uh, Kevin. Just checked in. We're here in San Francisco. So. Yes, motion or static? Yeah, motion or static. Okay, yes, Kevin motion. is like motion. Okay. Okay, that, that's Kevin. Huh? It's, uh, like motion, but more static. Okay, so thanks, Tim. So it's 50 50. For your input. Motion. Gems like moo. Isn't it? Gems like from Honolulu. Make it hit, hit the bit. Ah. Motion. Just. Because they all want motion. Just check. And I would do static. Yeah, I kind of like static more. Because I think it makes it less busy. Just or what is your reasoning? Uh, it's more like... Because um, this footage just is so shaky that like this, I don't know. Yeah, yeah I think stability. also there is a kind of uh, hierarchy of information you want to put in place. Like, is it that important that I'm following Tuesday? Mm. Yeah, more like what's more important is uh, you in this right. case. You know, so I would say like also for the pace, like and it could be on the beat. So it's a great suggestion, Kevin, mm -hmm. to like you know, Tuesday, boom, that's you. You know, like for the eye, it's enough. Yes. Also, also because it's a very uh, just one word. Yes. So it will really just take a few milliseconds to to read it, mm -hmm. but when it moves. I'm like, oh, okay, something is moving. Oh, okay, I can read it. Yeah. It's very hard to read when it moves. Yes. So in that case, I would go Static. with less effect. Yeah. It's more subtle, too. And you have a beautiful tape face, which is very classy. Yes. Very chic. I agree. Well, I think, um, I just think uh, since my footage is so shaky and then this is moving, I feel like ah, um, it's very too. busy on the viewer and I want to just make things simple. Okay. Um, so I feel like also just so much, yeah, it's just like a lot going on in one second when this is so still. <laughs> so I do prefer static. So I think I saw Miriam say static. Miriam? So yeah, we just follow Miriam. Yeah, too much motion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, cut to you, then cut to the text on the beat. Um, then you drop the text. Nice. Okay. Thank you for all your suggestions. Um, no, but thanks for sharing also your thoughts because oh. it's also important to see that like you produce videos like every week, uh, but there are so many decisions that you need to make and very quickly to yes. define your style. Yes. Uh, and this is one of them. You know, like should I have like buzzy introductions or uh, or what is an introduction? You know, in your videos. Right. And so we understand <coughs> you set the mood with the music. Yes. You set the environment with a few shots. OK, that's a yes. disco. I recognize there is a tram and stuff. And then uh, day of the week, and we start. Yes. And then like, I think color grading also is really important. But right now, I'm just going to focus on. Uh, okay. We should do some color grading. Yeah. Because I think, um, yeah, I think color grading is just a uh, good branding too. Because it, uh, it's, oh, I yeah, agree. yeah, 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 yeah. one hundred percent. Like when I'm watching movies, um, I can definitely tell um, how much the color grading oh. affects the certain um, ambiance of the film, oh, yeah, yeah. especially from f horror to like rom com. Yeah. And sometimes it's too much. Yeah. For me, I was watching Magic Mike and it was so green. Yeah, right. <laughs> I saw it randomly last night. It was so green. All the filtering was so green. It's too much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But also, that's what happens when, uh, so when uh, color grading like became more accessible in digital, even to studios. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, it was extreme. It happened in the '90s, and you have all these movies like uh, we all remember the color grading Just of Matrix, for instance. Yes. You know, and they were separating like the world in the Matrix. The world in the spaceship was very blue. Uh, outside in the Matrix was very greenish. Um, so, which also gave a super strong style. So actually, yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's that's too true. much, but I like it. Um, but uh, I was watching uh, Dunkirk. Oh know? yes, I've seen it. Yeah, and for me, it was too much. Oh. Like too much color grading. Oh. Like, like uh, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't recognize uh, Normandy almost. Oh. Uh, for me, it was uh, too distracting. I actually don't remember color grading because all I heard is like. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the uh -huh. I had so the much anxiety, but I don't remember the color grading. But yeah, I could I could see how it is distracting because mm. so I think sometimes they overdo it. 
yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. I really enjoy HBO's Insecure's color grading because it's set in like Inglewood. Um, I don't know if you've seen it. It's like a um, mm -hmm. HBO show centered around like African American women, and they're from Inglewood, and it's like a, a Central LA. Okay. And then the color grading is like I think both nostalgic of um, Inglewood during like the '90s, early 2000s, but then it's set in a modern day time for you know 2018 mm -hmm. because some of the characters live in you know um, South Park in downtown LA, which is a very gentrified area so I think the color grading is like both like retro but still modern which okay. I think is like such a hard balance, um, yeah. balance yeah and then there was a recent Netflix film to all the boys I love before which I think is the same thing it, they kind of did like breakfast club 80s like rom-com yeah. with like um, modern day like color grading and I really love that film because I think it hit the oh, that's art you know like color yeah. grading uh yeah. It's, it's crazy, like just uh, switching the colors, how it speaks to our brand and our mind. Uh, oh, yeah, Traffic by Soderbergh. Yeah, I remember Kevin. So it was in that period, Ooh. actually. It was in 2000, I think. Oh. No, when was Traffic? Uh, Soderbergh. Just tra yeah, in 2000. Uh, and yeah, I remember, like, th so that was like the era of, ah, we can do color grading everywhere. It was very yellowish, I remember, like oh. Traffic, and very blue on some scenes, yeah. It's a bit extreme, but it really worked. Nice. It's a great movie. Uh, and Grant, you see on Adobe Stocks, most of the, some motion graphics templates are $80. Yeah, so if you don't have a subscription plan, it's, if you buy the one, one shot, it's $80. But you can also filter on the left and say, I don't want to see the premium, because $80 are really the top one. Uh, you say standard, and you will see a lot of free uh, transitions and motion graphic templates. Yeah, Twilight is too blue. Yeah, I mean, but that's oh yeah, that's a choice. Uh, Twilight but that is creates really cool tone. and Twilight was a series, mm -hmm. so you also like Matrix. You want to create also an identity uh, to connect the the dots. Uh, so I get it. But there are TV shows like uh, where it's more subtle and very well done, like uh, This Is Us. Oh yeah, it has a lot of flashback, mm -hmm. and it slightly changed the color grading to make it look more vintage. Mm -hmm. In addition to uh, the clothes, the cars in the streets, and yes, and it just it just works. Whoa! Whoa! What's happening? There's a lot going on right now. Boop, boop, boop. This effect, That's cool, huh? This effect is something it's I would crazy, do for like a lookbook. Because I think on yes. my channel trailer, there's like a um, yeah, the transform from, yeah. So you could, man, yeah. Anyway, so this is what I would do for something it more cinematic. It looks like you have two cameras. Yeah. yeah. But really, I'm just acting a fool. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Uh, mm -hmm. Hi, Kenyitan. Konnichiwa. Oh, konnichiwa. Hello. Have you seen Japanese. this French film? Oh, thank you. Au revoir, Lao. Uh, I think so. It's more like an author movie. Oh, no, no, yeah, I watched it by uh, Dupontel. Yeah. Hmm. Very, yeah, uh, graphical movie. Very good. Very creative. We have about 10 minutes left to create a short movie with us on the theme motion and share it with us. I feel like that's very broad, too. Yeah, the theme is movement. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. yeah it's very broad. Yeah. We'll see what Especially they Especially because video is movement. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Let's do... Is there um, a limit to how many... Um, Title cards and videos you can layer. I don't think so. Uh, I don't think so, actually. Let, let me let me double check. Alrighty. I mean, at some point, it's just impossible to work. You know, if you have like fourteen tracks. Right. No, that makes <laughs> uh, sense. Ah, uh, you have a sorry. You have a maximum of seven tracks on your timeline. Oh, okay. Four video tracks and three. Audio only tracks. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow, why would you want to layer so many audio tracks? Music, uh, voiceover? Let's see. Music, sound effects. You know, uh, if you want to add some yes. whoosh, like, mm -hmm. pfft, you know? or like a comedic, like, honk. And also, if you do, uh, so let's say you have a music and you do a fade in, fade down with another music, mm -hmm. or maybe you want to, to do a mix, so you need two tracks plus a sound effect. Ah, uh, I see, I that. see. 
but then in your video clips you can have a, uh, audio too, like in the you can have a dialogue. Right, if you're vlogging. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Kevin. Okay. <laughs> Kevin is like music, sound effects, voiceover, free nice. audio. That's nice. all you need. And yes, Kevin, there is a voiceover tool. So you, you were talking about this, Amy, that you can record your voice. Yes. Uh, directly in Rush. I think this is a great idea. I, I just love this idea. Uh, Danny is asking a good question. What OS version is needed for Rush? So you need really like a, a new generation of OS. Uh, I had to upgrade my Mac OS. Uh, so what's the name? Uh, you need High Sierra, I think, is the minimum. So now I'm on the new one. Mojave, or I don't know how to pronounce it. Mojave. Mojave. Yes. Is Wait. it a fruit or something? Or? Oh no, Mojave Desert. Oh, it's a That's desert. how I think of it. Yeah. I mean, you're probably yeah. white because the icon is a desert. So. Yeah. So that makes sense. Mojave. Okay. Okay, my thing just closed. I don't know why, but I think it's because there's a lot of footage of my. Yeah. Yeah. The memories is a bit. Uh, yes. Struggling. Yeah. It's Okay. Oh, there's us. Oh, on here the we go. first day. Who was filming? Oh, Anna. Oh, Anna, yes. Anna. My agent, yes. There's us and the. And the mess. Yes. Look at them in this mess. <laughs> oh, my God. It was so long ago. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, there's a lot in here. A lot of content. Box. What is the kind of music is this? Oh yeah, you remember? Oh, this is, the... yes. We were trying to figure out for the <laughs> okay. working out Action scene. Movie. Yes. I think um, it was here that we could do the Rush soundtracks. Let me see. Where is it again? Oh, here. Yes. And then I have a question. Are there on um, Adobe stock? Like, are you able to like, no. is there more than certain Today we tracks? don't have audio on stock. Ah, I see. I really wish that one day uh, we have an audio library. Mm -hmm. so I'm a big fan of music and stuff. Yes. Um, Do you think there will be sound effects um, on Adobe Rush available? Like keyboard typing or... Oh, flat, these type you know of sound yeah. effects. Yeah, it's the same, like we need a, a big catalog. Uh, uh. For sound effects, wh wh where would you go? It's a good question. Maybe some of you, you have uh, some recommendation in the chat. If you know any websites or catalog with sound effects, so no, not uh, license free music, but sound effects. Mm -hmm. Let us know. Adobe has an audio library. Yeah, in addition, actually, yeah, you, you have some free samples and from some music. It has been produced uh, 15 years ago by Jason Levine. <laughs> Actually, the music, like it's not a joke. Oh. And Kevin yeah, is mentioning uh, epidemic sound uh, yeah. that also has sound effects, actually. So, so Kevin, Amy is using uh, epidemic sound too. Yes. Oh, okay. Let's send a report because, you know, like Rush is a fresh new app. So okay. we need the team and Kevin to work on this. All righty. So <laughs> I think it crashed. So what's going on? It crashed on me, so I, oh, no. I had to, I think it's, okay, maybe it's okay now. I think it was the previous one. Okay. Yeah, it's that not. That makes Okay, so that's the gym. Is it at the hotel? Yes. Okay. And then um, I'm trying to use the, the sample, sample media. Okay, ready? Go. I kind of want our voices to be quieter, so we're gonna. Okay, so you select the clip. Let's just do. Oh, okay. Let's just, just reduce the volume. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's too quiet now. Does the beat drop, or does it get any faster? It gets more stronger, is right? Like they, they add instruments, I think. Easy. Oh no! Just 
tap once. This one. Here we go. This one. You see, it becomes like super Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna start splicing a lot more then. Okay. So it'll be um, more dynamic, I think, because this is really boring. We're trying to plank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Let's... Plank is very hard, but not very visual. Like yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, okay. Let's do this, and then right here. And then. Oh, yeah. A okay. little bit. There we go. I just want this. I have almost like five minutes of um, working out footage, but I want to make it into like 10 seconds of really fast cuts. Oh, that's yeah, good. Yeah, so that it doesn't, the viewer doesn't lose interest because, as you said, planking is very boring. <laughs> so, yeah. You can pretend, you know, that you did a, a three hour workout session. <laughs> Yeah, the 10 seconds. Oh, here we go. Okay, so. Okay. Uh, next one is asking, can we play with the green background in Rush? I don't think there is a keying option. Um, so that's something more advanced that you can do in Premiere Pro and also very well in After Effects. But if it's a feature that you would need in Rush, you know, which is, I mean, why not? It used to, like uh, green screens used to be really reserved for the professional movie industries, but mm -hmm. now with all the streamers, you know, on Twitch and YouTube, like playing video games, they just order like uh, for one hundred dollars a green screen on Amazon. So maybe something that could make sense, uh, Alexandre. So you should uh, definitely go on the video, Adobe Video User Voice and uh, vote for this feature. Two minutes left to submit your videos. Yes. And, uh, just got, just got a few today, so we just review them uh, in, uh, in ten minutes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, this footage is quite embarrassing, actually. Look at us, professionals. Wow, so pro. No, look at this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's this very so hard. Funny. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Suffering, it's so hard. This is really funny. It's a like 15 pound medicine ball, <laughs> but it's kind of funny. Okay. This is also good footage that um, you could fast forward as, as well if yeah. you wanted to. Yeah. Um, well, I think it's funnier at the real pace. <laughs> yeah, it, it really is. It shows that it's super funny. Yeah. Okay, so we'll do this. Oh, I know what I will do. Since this footage is so embarrassing, <laughs> I'm gonna, um, I'm just gonna put them together, but then let's, we're gonna, I wanna distract the viewer. So we're gonna make both of them small. Oh, okay. Yeah. And idea. like in a, in a side by side so that they, they can't focus on our um, sad <laughs> movements. And I think, um, that's funny. Yeah. So. I'm going to asking if you select Autoduck, will it reduce the music or the voice? So it will reduce the music. music. Yes. The idea yes. is that Rush will automatically detect when someone is speaking. Uh, so you don't even. So when you select an audio track, actually, that's a super interesting concept in Rush. But um, an audio track, Rush will automatically detect if it's music, uh, just a, a voice, or something else. But you can also in the UI say, okay, this is voice. And then Autoduck, every time someone will speak, you can say reduce the music by, uh, I don't know, five decibels. And it will reduce the volume automatically with, um, you are saying, with uh, uh, fade in, fade out, like uh, a smooth transition with Autoduck. So, mm. yeah, give it a try. Let us know what you think. Mm. Yes, it's using Adobe Sensei for sure. Yes. Give it 
time there is something magical. Okay. Ah, you want to do like a, I just, a vertical layout? Yeah, why not? Why yeah, not? I want to stack them on top of each other so that the viewer doesn't see just well, just us <laughs> failing. <laughs> okay, um, this one should be a hundred. Okay, cool. Okay, let's see how this looks. <laughs> that's good, that's good. So there we go, yeah. Um, kind of split screened it. Okay, let me see. Um, let's do... Is it time to watch the... No, we still have time. I think we will start watching them in about 10 minutes. Oh, okay. And we just have a few entries, so it will to be fast. Nice. Oh my gosh. Mm. It's funny to have like this beautiful picture of an athlete in the back, you know, like on the building. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, Wait, really this big source of uh, inspiration yeah. and motivation. And we do our best. You know, yes. We do our best. Okay, here's that. Oh. So this is what I have so far for my little workout. I mean, montage. you know a lot of uh, types of uh, exercise. You know, I was trying to train him. Ah, okay. I work out like three times a week because I like to eat a lot. <laughs> yeah. That's good. I, I like that. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Yeah, so that's our little workout montage, and we'll probably cut it short. Hi, GM uh, Salaudin. Oh, no. Thanks for watching. It did it again. It did it again. It crashed again. But someone was asking, I think it was Jan Eric, like, oh, where is the save comment? Well, it's auto saving all the time, so. That's true. Hopefully, you should have all your clips. Yes. At the same place. Okay. Let's go back. <laughs> Roland is also working out, but every 10 years. But, ah. uh, that's a different pace. Nice. Well, how many years have you been alive? <laughs> 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 so, I think that is the true question. Do you work out? I should, but I'm French, so. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I don't have to. No, I'm okay. Well, you must walk a lot living in this. Do you live in the city? Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. I think because LA, there is no walking. You're always no, in your car. Now I'm obsessed with uh, something new that makes me working out a little bit. Mm. It's the bike peloton. The you know peloton? Bike peloton? Peloton. Peloton? You don't know? Oh, my. I do not know that. Okay. I have to give them a shout out because I'm obsessed with it. Oh, it's like a, a stationary bike. Yeah, but we have some at the office. Oh, and, and do the, you ride it while you're working? Uh, so, yeah, and there is a live class. So it's like Adobe Live on a bike. Oh. So like you have like someone like you. Yes. Uh, Telling he's you like, to okay, now you. we go to this speed. Now we go Peloton. to this sequence. So you have like a bike with a huge uh, iPad. It's a Android tablet actually, and uh, yeah. Amazing. Is it quite expensive? I don't know because they have uh, some at, at the gym at Adobe. Ah, if I you see. want to get it like at home, yeah, it's super expensive. Ah, I see, I see. I think something like three thousand dollars. Oh my gosh. Yeah, very expensive. That's a lot. I think there's a, a new mirror that there's a hologram yeah, I saw, and yeah, then it's... they it shows you how to squat and does yeah. like a high intensity um, interval training workout. Yeah. I think it's good. Like it's uh, like having something live and you need some guidance. Yeah. I know that if I go to the gym, like what you're showing, you know, like uh, with the balls, I don't know what to do. Mm. And 
I'm actually scared of uh, like hurting myself. Right. That's. So you need a coach, basically. But yes. now with these new online tools, yeah, you, you have a coach. Yeah. Everything I learned like is you, from like workout your, class. Your Premier Rush coach. <laughs> showing yes. how to use it. Oh, no. Okay. Oh. I already reopened it. Oh, yeah. No, that's fine. We're report. good. So that's the previous report. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. And if it happens to you too, make sure to send a report. Um, because that's the beauty of Creative Cloud. We can update the, the apps, you know, uh, as soon as we can, actually, and uh, as soon as we want. So we can push an update that will fix all these uh, stability issues. Uh, again, Rush has been on the market for only two or three weeks. I know, such a baby. So we're discovering all your environment. Like, we did our best, you know, in terms of quality. Uh, but we're always discovering some uh, stability issues. And we will add more features. What's good with Creative Cloud is that you don't have to wait for one year. You will get new features very soon. Nice. Mm. Do you know if there's a way to duplicate multiple at the same time? Oh, I would be surprised. Yeah, no. No? Okay. I would be very surprised. So duplicate one at a time. Yes. Okay. Let's duplicate this one, and yeah. then, because I'm just going to duplicate these and then put them for every single day. <laughs> Alrighty. And then, okay. Oh, no. No, this one, just drag it. Uh, yeah. I can't just drag take this together. one and just move Can it. Can I drag together? Um, no, no, here. just uh, move this one and it and will be attached to. I see. Here we go. Here we go. Nice. Okay, Tuesday. Uh, I'm, my computer is very slow right now. Yeah. Patience. Struggling with something. Okay. Yes. Patience. Ah, uh, yeah, it's rendering all the frames. Okay, how do you feel, computer? Feel good? I think so. Okay, this is Tuesday morning. That means. Okay. Over here. Oh no. Where is it? Here? I tried dragging it, but we'll see if it... Oh, it's still rendering the frames. Yeah. Maybe. Okay, so I will wait. Be patient. Who will edit after the stream? We will be live. Yes. Yeah, with Amber. Yes. Maybe we can watch some videos that has been uh, created today by our friends. Oh, yes. Okay. So we change you today with this theme uh, movement. I already see my face. Okay, it's not a good sign. <laughs> not a good sign. Okay, let's start with this one. Uh, I think it's chaired by, I would say by Jan Eric. Or is it Tim? I oh, know it's Tim. Okay, Tim is always very creative when it comes to video. Okay, so it's a meeting. Working for a client. Motivation, okay. Good use of titles mm -hmm. in Rush. Nice color grading. Things, okay. It's crazy that you can find uh, this footage on, on Adobe Stock, you know? Yeah. You can recreate a story. It's, it's amazing. It's a very good actor. <laughs> very subtle. Yeah. Uh, Client feedback. I like the sound effects. Yeah. Where did they get it? Yeah, where, where did you get the ding ding? Yeah. Is it something you had on your disk, Tim? Oh. Working at night just with color grading, you know? Wow. Pretending that this is the night. Oh, uh, yeah. Good job. That's the same guy. Oh, my God. He's everywhere. What's happening? Definitely a great actor. <laughs> hey, Italian! Hey. Ah, that's me. Oh, nice. Good, good, good. And always keep moving. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I like the Western type of music. That was so good. Nice. Love it. Ah, Tim, always on point. Then we have, oh, it looks like the Matrix. Ooh. No? 
Yeah, it does. Oh, Tyron. Okay, let's watch it on Vimeo. Yeah, that's the metrics. Nice. Everything is moving. Moving. Whoa, with electricity and stuff. Nice, nice shot. Yes. Wow, look at that, it's uh, 3D. Movement. Wow. Yeah, it's a good one. You found very good uh, footage. Oh, nice time lapse. Oh, that's us, look. Oh, yes. With a leather jacket. He used to join our game. Ooh. Very nice. That's what cool with Rush too, is that you can quickly edit a movie with just with the stock footage. Mm -hmm. And you decide at the end what you want to license, you know? Like seriously, like a, wow. you can show it to your customer. Do you like it? Do you have some edits? At the end, you approve everything and then you buy the footage. Yeah. Okay. Music change. Yeah, music change, nice. condition. Okay, Tyron, I think we, Use all the animated titles available on site. Wow. Wow. Beautiful crisp image. Ooh. That's nice. good. Nice. That's very good, Tyron. Thanks. And that's me. Oh, yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> that's you? Oh, yeah. Oh. I can tell. Okay, let's, I, can tell I want to see this one then. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yes. Amazing. Oh, I remember this movie. Amazing. <laughs> Kathleen and Paul. And that's Tim and Val. Amazing. Wow, my God. I love it. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot about this movie. Oh, it's so good. Okay, <laughs> not made with Rush because there is some tracking and stuff, but yeah. that's super fun. And uh, yeah, we received a little bit more like this morning, so let's see that. Hang glider. Nice color grading too. Wow. Yeah, so it's more like an outdoor theme, I guess. Yeah, very vibrant. Yeah. I always wanted to go hang gliding. Yeah, very nice footage yes. too. And this one is by a zombie. Oh. Let's see what uh, zombie has produced. Mm. Oh, nice. Nice intro. Ah, great selection. Ah, it's, it's building up, it's building up. I know. Let's see if there is something on the beat. Yay! Yes. Deep to white. Good job. Mm. Ah, it almost looks like a professional. Uh, Commercial, huh? Yeah. Cool, huh? Whoa. Adobe Live. Thank you. That was Good intense. job. Yeah, that was during the first show. It's so yeah. good. We had to watch it again. <laughs> good job with Rush. Nice. So, yeah, don't hesitate. Download Rush. Available on Mac, Windows, iOS. And you can create these amazing movies. Yes. It's good training, huh? You go visit stock and get some footage. Yeah, we're good. Okay, let's go back to. Can we drag and drop the title? Oh, yes. Who knows? Okay. Let's okay, see. Okay, let's try again. Mm. This one? Mm. I have to zoom in more. Yeah. Catch it. Mm. 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 Okay, if you zoom in more, like on the timeline. Can you there? drag both? Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. go. Oh, that's why. Ah, easy. Okay. Got it. Uh, I don't know where the new day is. <laughs> is it... Oh, this is That was the dinner. first day. Yeah. This was the dinner, dinner on first day. Yes, with a okay. project or team rush. Ah, okay. This is... Okay. going to bed. Ah, uh, that's the new day. New day, yes. Here. So this is already attached, so I don't need to click both. Mm-hmm. Okay. Here you are. Yes, 
and then I'm going to basically do this two every single day. All right, um, duplicate and duplicate. Yes. So this one will be Wednesday, and this one will be Thursday, which is today. And usually with your weekly vlog, you cover like really like all days of the week or? No, usually just whenever um, yeah. I pick up the camera. <laughs> so if it's Monday and then goes to Friday, that's I'll just put in the title card for that. Yeah. Alrighty. And I meant to ask, but the, so is it your full full time activity now? Yeah, yes. that's what you were saying. Like you really invest in, uh, yes. in this now. Yes, mm -hmm. now I do this full time. Mm -hmm. Which is my dream job. Yes. Because I think I would still be doing it. It would just be a lot harder if I had a traditional 9 to 5. Yes. Yes. But, okay, Thursday. So then I'll add media. Yeah, we had an Adobe Creative Residence. Who's mm -hmm. a YouTuber too. Her name is uh, Sarah Dichi. And, uh, Do you know what her genre is? Like her... Yeah, her, her boyfriend. Huh? No? Oh, no, no, I mean, like, does she do oh, sorry. fashion, cooking? Genre, okay, I need to understand this word. <laughs> Every time someone says this, because it's genre in French, I'm like, uh, and her boyfriend is John, something, uh, so, oh, maybe, okay. I, see, I see, like her category. So her she, category. She does uh, yeah, that's her. lifestyle. It's basically lifestyle, uh, lifestyle tech. And video, so, and she interviews uh, creative people. Oh, okay, nice. So it's about, uh, yeah. Her life, and uh, she's a video editor. Uh, mm. So she, yeah. Cool. But she was uh, for one year an Adobe Creative Resident. So. What does that mean? So it's a program where uh, Adobe's funding uh, some uh, um, upcoming creatives. Mm -hmm. uh, you can be a video maker. You can be a UX designer, graphic designer, mm -hmm. for one year. Like you get a salary mm -hmm. uh, for one year to achieve one specific project. So when you you pitch yourself to become a creative resident, you have to pitch a creative project. Right. And uh, in exchange, Adobe is only asking the residents to share their process oh. on the year, going to conferences, recording videos. Oh, I see, I see. So the community can, you know, like benefit from their experience. Right. And, uh, yeah, and Sarah was one of them and uh, she's doing amazing now. Cool. Has the year uh, been completed or is she uh, currently on her year? Her year has been completed, so uh -huh. now we're in a new year, and uh, we will start the application process in January, I think, to get new ones. Nice. And the next uh, generation will be around May. And then do you guys choose one creator or multiple creators? So we choose, uh, we have uh, today, I think, four or five residents in the US and three in Europe. Oh, nice. Um, and uh, if, in, each of them have they have a different creative field. You know? mm, so we have I a see. photographer, we have a UX designer. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Nice. So not only content creators. Yeah. Oh, very cool. I should sign up. No. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, we're on Thursday, so I have new footage I would like to add. Let's do. So this is all the footage that is created pretty much almost real time mm. because this is what I had for breakfast today. <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, you went to Brenda's? Yes, we went to Brenda's. Wow. This is the beignet and then, oh no, some. where is it? Oh, here it it's is. It's this one, yeah. Okay, you can add. add it. And this is the huge what? tofu hash that I did not finish. Ooh. And then, oh. It's, I think it's here. Here's the mm. shrimp and grits yeah. that Anna, Anna got. And then uh, 
Karina got buttermilk pancakes. Wow. So we had a lot this morning. And then here is me at the Adobe offices right before this uh, yeah, live right stream. Before the show. Yeah, because I was uh, setting up. Before and then you I... joined me later. Yes. yes. But you're already importing the, the, mm -hmm. the footage. Yeah, so. I um, tried to take a nice video of you, but there was no media card. Yeah, because it was <laughs> important. <laughs> yes. It's so. a big fail. <laughs> no. Okay. Brenda's is my fave brunch spot in San oh, Francisco. Oh, okay. So. What is your favorite uh, entree? Wait, what do you mean? Like for lunch or dinner? Oh, at, yeah. Well, That's what you mean by entree? Or? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. You mean at Brenda's, what she would get? Yes. Ah, okay. Yes, yes, what yes. What you would get at Brenda's? Yes. Fried chicken? Uh, probably. You'll see. We didn't finish any of our meals, and then they were very um, offended, I feel. <laughs> okay. Let's do here. <laughs> what trimming. We have like three minutes left, but uh, stay tuned because we'll still be alive. We will wake um, Amber. Even they will be back in about eight minutes on Behance, behance.net slash live, editing some uh, skimboard surfing videos. Yes. Shrimp and grits. Oh. So yours is. Okay, it's like Anna. This one, yeah. Oops. Right here. That's Brenda's in San Francisco on Polk Street. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think they have multiple ones. Oh, really? I think really? there is one next to my place on Divisadero. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Okay, fine. So, I, think so. I have a lot of footage. How much? So we're at almost 22 minutes. Okay, and your goal? Oh yeah, maybe we can talk about this video. Okay, the, the final output. So your goal is to? Uh, probably 10 to 12 minutes. 10 to 12. Yeah. And when will you publish it, you think? Because we want to see their final result. Um, probably Monday. On Monday, okay. Yeah. So again, maybe we can switch to my screen. Make sure to follow Amy yes. on YouTube to watch the final video, Editing yes. in Rush, live in front of you. And uh, also to make sure you get all the updates, you can follow her on Instagram, of course, if it's not the case already. And uh, yeah, thanks, Amy. I mean, for sharing uh, your life and all these tips oh, as yeah. a content creator uh, during these three days. Thank you Trust for having me. And uh, thanks for being uh, super fun yes. and entertaining. And, I hope uh, so. <laughs> and also playing the game, like editing a movie with Rush that had just been released. Again, like it's a brand new and uh, yes. you, you're, you know, you are a Rush master. I mean, we discovered some new tips today. Yeah. You know, the titles yes. and, and stuff. That was cool. So yeah. How did you, uh, did you enjoy the experience of being live? Because yes. I know it's weird. Um, I liked it. I think it was interesting having a host because uh, normally it's a yeah. solo dolo. So it's been really fun. And then I, I feel like I, I, because I was busy like talking, I feel like I didn't get to edit too much. But hopefully, um, whatever I said, whatever came out of my mouth, hopefully was useful. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that is pretty much how I do things because, um, yeah, I'm not. I mean, I mean, I'm not extreme athlete, so my footage is mainly just me talking or showing <laughs> outfits. So <laughs> hopefully, maybe you found a new font that you like or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, nothing too complex. Yeah, but Rush is super simple to use, and um, I like that you can use it on your phone. So um, I think that's the first time I've ever been able to use what I can use on the desktop in the palm of my hand, which is really fun. Yeah. So I'm excited to see what is coming with Rush. Um, because mm. it's already doing well. Yeah. There's more coming. There's more coming. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Amy. Thank you for super having fun me. being <laughs> live with you. And uh, stay tuned. Okay. We'll be back in about five minutes with Amber and Evan. Yes. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>